It's Wacky Wednesday, Soap fans, and yes, the drama on The Young and the Restless is hotter than a summer day in Genoa City. We're diving into a whirlwind of emotions, secrets, and confrontations. I'm going to give you a few highlights, and then we'll dive deep into this sizzling episode. First, we see Daniel and Heather prepare for battle over the game. We also see Katie lashing out at Claire, and Abby is finally upset at the Abbots for keeping Ashley's issues a secret. So without any further ado, let's unpack this Genoa City drama for June 19th. At society, Abby sit down with Billy and drop a bombshell. Her mom, Ashley, has checked herself into a mental health clinic in France for her DID. Now, Abby is fuming because she just found out from her mother while Billy knew from Jack, who told him over the phone. Now, Abby's indignation is definitely apparent. I am her daughter, and her eyes was blazing with anger. Now, Billy tried to calm her down, but yeah, Abby is not having any of it. She can't believe everything. Everybody, including Billy, kept this from her. She feels like she's always treated like the fragile child. And it's high time that the Abbots and the Newmans start treating her like an adult. And with a sudden realization, Abby actually remembers Tucker's warning, which she dismissed. Now, turns out Tucker showed up one night, tried to get involved, marking the first time that they realized Ashley was referring to herself in the third person. And the memory of her mother's struggle and her own dismissiveness hit Abby hard. Now, Billy recounts how Tracy tried to take Ashley to therapy, but it didn't work. Abby, filled with a lot of regret, thinks that she could have done more. Billy mentions that Johnny and Katie's flight is about to land, and as they part ways, Abby wishes him luck, and in a touching moment, underscore the deep connections and responsibilities that they both feel toward their families. And I gotta say, you know what, Abby? Yeah, as much as I blame Jack and Tracy and Billy for not cluing you in on what's going on with your mother for the last six to seven months. You also did take a part of, of the accountability in this where you should have been checking up on your mother instead of worried about board position seats over at Chancellor Winters. Meanwhile, at the tack house, Claire, looking like Laura Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie, is preparing for her sibling arrival with military position. Now, she is stocking the fridge with their favorite snacks and decorated their room with flowers, wanting everything to be perfect. Now, Victoria reminds Claire that look she's not their nanny but Claire just wants her siblings to feel welcome Victoria reassures her that they'll adore her and Claire's anxiety is momentarily eased Cole then stops by to check on things but mainly Victoria and she reassures him that yeah the kids and everything is coming by and hopefully it'll be a good situation now when Billy arrives with Johnny and Katie the sibling dynamic kick in immediately Johnny and Katie teach tease each other about their packing skills and Johnny, ever the blunt one, asks Claire what it's like to be in a mental hospital. Now Claire candidly shares her experiences, impressing Johnny with her honesty. Yeah, however, Katie is still angry and hurt about their house being burned down, snaps at Claire, storming off to her room, and I guess Summer now has an ally. Now, Claire, understanding and patient, knows that this transition is not going to be easy. Over at Crimson Lights, the tension is thick as Daniel and Heather prepare for their court battle. Now, Daniel is a bundle of nerves doubting the righteousness of their cause. Heather, with her lawyerly confidence, tries to reassure him, but the specter of his past infidelity looms large. Now, Daniel is disillusioned, feeling that even winning back Princess Louisa won't bring satisfaction. Heather is vowing to make this process painless as possible, but Daniel's mind is already wondering to what lies beyond this fight. And he decides to let Lily and Chancellor Winters keep the game. Now at the athletic club, Devon, Nate, and Lily are strategizing with their lawyer Deidre about their case against Daniel. Lily, visibly uneasy, doesn't want to celebrate the conflict. Now she has a change of heart and wants to offer Daniel the game despite his lack of claim to it. Now the men sensing her resolve agree not to fight her decision. 
Devon shares his concerns about Lily's state of mind, especially in the light of Billy's earlier machinations. Now, Lily meets Daniel at Chancellor Park, where they both are ready to end this feud. They laugh at how neither anticipated this outcome and decide to keep the game as a library game while opening up a college tuition fund for Lucy. Now, the peace between the two of them is a sweet reprieve from all this chaos as they part ways amicably with Lily texting Billy, let's meet. Back at Chancellor Winters, Abby arrives for a comforting hug from Devon. They talk about Ashley's call last night and her fears that Ashley was talking to somebody else. Now, Devon promises that they will go to Paris together, showing the strength of their sibling bond. However, they both need to realize that Tucker warning them a few months ago was actually right and they owe him an apology and finally at the athletic club audra returns from paris practically glowing now nate ever the inquisitive one asked about her trip and audra dropped the news that she's the new ceo of glissade she managed to beat tucker at his own game Right, but you got a bigger fish to battle with Victor Newman, but hey, you know what? You'll find out all on your own. However, when Nate presses for details about this anonymous investor, Audra remains tight-lipped, honoring the stipulation of the deal. They toast to her success, a rare moment of celebration amidst this turmoil. And I gotta say, Audra, remember what happened with Nate and Victor not once, but twice. Don't think that it can can never happen to you. Okay, so there you have it. Today's episode was a roller coaster of emotions, secrets, and revelations from Abby's fury and regret to Claire's effort to connect with her siblings and Daniel and Lily finding some common ground. And the residents of Genoa City are navigating the stormy seas of family, loyalty, and I guess redemption. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about the amicable agreement that happened between Daniel? and Lily regarding the game. I think it worked out for the best. That storyline is over with. Katie lashing out at Claire, looking like Laura Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, it looked like Summer now has an ally when it comes to Katie. And Abby, yeah, she's upset at her uh, aunt and uncle. And uh, yeah, I think she needs to be upset with herself as well because Tucker told you and you should have also checked on your mother. Also, make sure you check out the bold and the beautiful recap for today as well. It is getting messy, messy, messy. Steffi is not happy about working alongside Brooke. And yeah, look like this secret that's out. Sheila is probably going to figure out a way to get at Steffi. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. Till the next one, we'll see you guys soon. Bye, Soapies.